Hello. I found the blog of that uh, uh, Quran 9, 111, 38, and 39 believing uh, Muslim named uh, Muhammad uh, Yusuf Abdul Aziz. I think that's how it goes. And um, I noticed that I'm the only one who seems to have gone to his blog. I tell you, you really can't get much attention with your blog unless you do something jihadi like this guy did, you know? Uh, but really, even then, I, I just found out I'm the only one that went to it. And I went and I added my uh, two cents as to, uh, well, I'll just put, uh, I, I, I guess you could say I, I wrote to his ghost, okay? And I'll, I'll show you what I wrote to him here, okay? All right. Here it is. It's uh, yeah, that's his blog. Yeah, but if you want to go to this thing, you see, you type in "life is bitter." Yeah, life is bitter, and it'll take you to his. Yeah, life is short and bitter. Okay, right? and you click on it, and it'll take you to it here. But anyway, what I'm about to uh, read to you is what I wrote to his ghost, I guess you could say. So, yeah, okay, on thoughts on a prison called Dunya, see, and that's, that's my, uh, my avatar for Nalan Yesmar on YouTube, but, uh, this is what I wrote, I said, you killed for a religion whose founder, Muhammad, Believed embryos go through a 40-day blood clot stage, and believed the sun needed or needs to, uh, or needed. Asked is yeah. He believed Muhammad believed that when the sun set in a muddy spring, after running to a resting place, it set in a muddy spring, and it prostrated on the throne of Allah, and then said, "Ask, seek, uh, or seek permission to rise again when it sets." He killed for religion whose book, the Quran, uh, says it confirms the before scriptures Bible. Going so far as to tell you, a Muslim, to come to me for my reading the Before Scriptures Bible if you're in doubt about the Clear Signs Quran, according to Quran 1094. You killed for religion Islam, whose founder, Muhammad, believed, uh, whose founder, Muhammad, I, I screwed up, I said believe was spread out on the back of a giant fish and held in. No, he believed the earth. I've got to change that, but I, I, I noticed I couldn't change it. It sounds like I said Muhammad was spread out on the back of a giant fish called Nun. No, Muhammad believed the earth was spread out on the back of a giant fish called Nun, according to uh, Al-Tabari Hadith. And, of course, I let them know that. Then I say this, I say this. After your blood clock for 40 days, this is in reply to his uh, belief that deeds is what gets you into uh, paradise and escape hell. I said, after you are a blood clock for 40 days, um, Muhammad says you are a blood clot for 40 days, then you are a morsel of flesh for 40 days, then an angel from Allah comes to you in the womb with special instructions on whether or not you will be one day in heaven or in hell. Uh, it's, it's, in other words, it's, it's totally up to Allah. It's not your deeds. It's, it's what Allah wrote. Of he wrote these special instructions using an angel to come to your womb to let you know someday whether or not you'd be in heaven or hell. In other words, it's nothing to do with deeds. It's all on what all it's all on will all are willing you on or off the right path is all of thesis what it comes down to it but so i i let i put this on this blog they say um yeah it's not deeds that get you out of hell it's whether or not the the best of deceivers allah wrote uh instructions for you to escape hell by the way allah is the best of deceivers because the quran says that allah secretly took jesus up into heaven only making it appear that jesus went to the cross and made sense of all the all those sin offerings and blood atonement described in the Torah, which according to the Quran is uh, all his book given to Musa, Moses. If Christianity is false and Islam is true, then all that truly is the best of deceivers. For creating damning Christianity that would damn billions for uh, obeying Quran, uh, 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 for st staying firm upon the Torah and Angel, according to uh, Quran 568. So anyway. I wanted to uh, take something horrible and uh, possibly make it for something good out of it by exposing how what the Quran teaches. 
And so if one of his friends checks out his blog, and one of his friends is jihadi, maybe I'll read that and they'll think, hmm, will I be rewarded with the little children to have sex with for eternity if I kill for this thing that calls itself the best deceivers? I know it doesn't say little children, it says virgins, you know, but if you read uh, from, from my side of the Hadith, it's almost kind of like the children. So, anyway, I thought I would try. So, yeah, wish me luck. Take care. Bye.